Welcome to this Dear Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll walk through how to create an advanced sales order. This video is made on the assumption that you're already familiar with the standard sales processing within Deer. So if you're a new user, please ensure you've watched our other videos in the sales module first. When creating a sale in Deer, you have the choice of creating either a simple or an advanced sale. An advanced sale is best used when you believe you're going to be fulfilling the order over multiple shipments or multiple invoices. If the majority of your sales are processed automatically into Deer from your e-commerce, point of sale or B2B integrations, they'll be created as simple sales. But these sales can be converted into advanced sales with the click of a button if you need to process them via multiple fulfillments or invoices. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to take an existing simple sale and convert it into an advanced sale. Navigate to your sales list and select a recent simple sales order. Now to keep things simple, let's assume we only have one of each item in stock. And we've decided to fulfill what we have on hand and send the rest of the items when they're back in stock. Simply click on the convert button in the top right hand corner to change this order into an advanced sales order. Note that this conversion cannot be reversed. As you can see, we no longer have our sales stages and fulfillment options along the middle of the screen, but instead, these are shown on the left hand side. This sidebar enables the menu to increase in size automatically as multiple fulfillments and invoices are added to the order. Most sales order actions such as save, undo, void and clone are accessed by clicking the sales order number on the top left hand corner of the screen. The other sales actions such as print and email are shown in the top right hand corner of the relevant sections. These can be found in quotes, orders, invoices, fulfillments and credit notes. We can expand the sales order header by clicking on the arrow on the top right hand side. This will enable us to see the customer's details. Let's start by creating the first of multiple fulfillments for this order. First, navigate to the left hand side and to start picking, select on the plus fulfillment button. Here, you have the option to pick remaining or available. Note that if you've created your invoice first, you can also use this option here to populate the pick with items from your authorized invoices. In the pick stage, only select the items you have on hand and then click authorize. Next, navigate to the pack icon. Here you can choose to copy directly from the pick stage and you can complete this process in the same way as a simple sale. Proceeding over to the ship icon, here you'll be presented with shipping information from the document header, but otherwise you can complete the shipping stage just as normal. Now let's take a look at how we can invoice for the goods that we've just shipped out. First, let's select the invoice that was generated automatically. Then, let's select the fulfillment this invoice relates to. That will mean that Deer can automatically pre-fill the goods that were fulfilled into the below lines. Note that if I had multiple fulfillments I wish to invoice, I can select multiple from this list to combine their contents. And now, we can continue to complete the invoice as normal. The fulfillment section will automatically calculate and display the remaining products to be picked, packed and shipped, and the invoice section will show the remaining amount to be invoiced. Assuming we have now received the items that were unable to ship to the customer earlier, we can now select the plus fulfillment button to create another fulfillment. I will again need to complete the pick pack ship for the second fulfillment by clicking pick remaining and issuing a final invoice for the remaining goods fulfilled. We have now fulfilled and raised the invoices for all goods that were shipped to the customer. Now we can apply payments to the invoices. Simply select the invoice you want to apply the payment to, scroll to the bottom of the invoice, and click the Add Payment button. Just remember that with your accounting integrations, we have two-way sync for payments, so you can choose to apply payments in either Deer or in your accounting application. I'm going to go ahead now and apply the payment to the second invoice and click Save. We can also issue a credit note specifically to an invoice within this order. Let's pretend that these products were returned to us by the customer, so we need to issue a credit note. Select the plus credit note button. First, select a date for the credit note. Then, select which invoice the credit note relates to. Next, select copy to populate the invoice lines in the credit note, 
and review the products listed in the restock section before authorizing. When the refund is physically paid, you can select the account this refund is going to be paid from by clicking the plus refund and selecting the relevant account, date, and amount. Next, we have the attachments section, where you can attach any relevant documents related to this sale. We can also check the history regarding which orders made what changes and when. You're also able to add manual journals, and see a list of transactions generated by Deer and posted into your accounting application. And that concludes this video on advanced sale orders.